All right, my name's Richo, this is Haltech TV, and this is my job for the week. So, what have we got here? It's an LS1 engine, and it's on this amazing custom engine stand that was made for us by Bread at Wicked Industries. And it's my job to get this running before summer nats in a week's time. So this is a marketing exercise. The idea is we're gonna take this to Summon Ads and we're going to put a Rebel LS on it and we wanna show people how easy it is to get an LS platform engine up and running on the Rebel LS with the wizard in the Haltech Connect app. So we've got a lot of really talented people who work here at Haltech. Obviously, you know the guys like Scotty and Dave, the wiring and tuning guys. Uh, we've got the R&D engineers who are brilliant and invent all of the cool stuff. We've got production here in Sydney and that's where all the stuff's put together and made and those guys are really talented. And then you've got the marketing team and, um, and we don't normally do stuff like this, building engines and, and tuning and, and wiring is not our jam, but we're gonna do this, we're gonna get it done. Righto, it is day two. I got called away to do some other rubbish yesterday, so not a lot done. Today, I'm back on this. I'm on the tools, I'm on the king chromes. Uh, I'm gonna pull the, uh, all of the stuff off that I wanna get powder coated, and we're gonna take that over to Scotty at Oxitech, and he's gonna look after that. So, let's get stuck into it. I know I'm only undoing like nuts and bolts, but I reckon that someone in the comments is gonna tell me I'm doing it wrong. One of the, how many subscribers have we got on this channel? Qu quarter of a million? Not enough. If you've not subscribed, go click that button now and then tell me how I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I think it just highlights the fact that I really, really don't know what I'm doing. All right. So that is the valve covers and the headers off. Um, next, I've got to take this bit off and this guard off because after that, we're going to take the whole engine off the stand. The engine's going to stay here while the rest of it goes off to be powder coated because while that happens, we've got to put some of the ancillaries on. We've got to put the alternator and the starter motor and all that sort of stuff on while this is going away. So next bit, let's do it. the wrong size. That's not the right size either. I have really unco hands. <laughs> like, they're really bad. I found some more nuts and bolts. Um, okay, I'm just gonna keep doing these ones. one on that side. We're just gonna have to fuck around in here for a bit I think. <laughs> Do I think I'm gonna get this done in time? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so I got all of the ancillary bits off that I want to get powder coated. We are now on our way to Oxitech, where that uh, slightly bare metal, kind of rusty patinaed thing is going to turn into a beautiful oh, butterfly. showcase of LS and Rebel LS dominance. Nice and easy round this roundabout. I was coming to work the other day and right here, right at this roundabout, there was a garbage truck on its side. It just tipped right over, gone too fast around the roundabout, so don't do that. Just driving around Wetherill Park things. I always kind of like driving the Haltech van because it makes me feel like, a, like I'm a bit of a truckie. I reckon I would have made a good truckie. I think I look good in a blue singlet, you know. 
Guys, how many has it gone, eh? Doo -doo. Going the wrong way. So OxyTech is a brand of powder coat, and in my opinion, it is the best powder coating in Australia. And we're very lucky that Scott, who owns OxyTech, will actually powder coat stuff for us, because it's not normally a place you can get things done. It's a place you can get powder coat from. It didn't move! Hello. All right, just got a phone call from Scotty. He said that the engine stand has been powder coated. It's a nice, bright Haltech yellow. Um, so we're on our way to pick it up. Can't wait to see it and get back into putting this thing together. Thanks, mate. Thanks very much. Easy, Back once again with the Rebel LS stand. Ah, for Richo and the chill behavior. Sam's in the background. He's giving me a hand here with the engine part. We're gonna have to put this back together so that we've got something to put the LS on now that it's been uh, all powder coated. We've literally very much running out of time, so let's crack into it. I have absolutely no memory as to how any of this goes back together, um, but that's okay, because jigsaw puzzles are fun, right? Look at the finish on this, this is amazing. So we've got a nice matte sort of textured powder coat on the outside. He's done a, another sort of protective coat on the inside. We've got a bit of car builders or, um, you know, heat, heat shield just there, just to stop us from, you know, burning our legs and stuff on it. Um, this is good. Scotty, you're a champion. Do you like my pink logo t-shirt? Go grab one from our online store. Of course, fuel pressure is important. Um, you need to regulate that in a way. So our friends at TurboSmart have kindly given us this fuel pressure reg to put on. Um, good bunch of people, check them out. No, 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 no. I'm not doing this properly. My phone says it's 39 degrees, but it feels like 42 degrees. And I think it feels hotter than 42 degrees. And if you're in one of those countries that uses freedom units, then I don't know what that is, over a hundred, I think. It's, um, it's pretty warm. We're getting there. We've got the coils on, we've got the injectors in, we've got the headers on, um, drive-by-wire throttle bodies on, alternators on, starter motors on. Oh, uh, we've still got a bit to do. We've got to do some plumbing. We need to get the fuel into the thing. And then of course we need to wire it up electronically uh, with our Rebel LS that we're going to put on this thing. And we literally, I think, have one or two days before we get this into the truck to go to Summonat. So hopefully we'll see you there, but um, we're working on it. <laughs> Oh, 
bloody perfect, look at that. We're getting pretty close. We're gonna be able to start this soon. I can smell it. Hey, wait, are you meant to be able to smell? One of the really cool things about this Rebel LS kit is that it comes with the harness and the harness is labeled like exactly where your stuff needs to go. So for example, that's your cylinder head ground there. I've touched that, I've touched that to cylinder head ground. We've got it behind this really nice end plate that our mate Chubby from Low Fabrication's given us. Um, again, coolant temp straight into there where your factory coolant temp is. Um, it makes it really easy for someone like me who doesn't do this thing very often or, or ever. Um, I'm actually having a really good time doing this. It's like a, a really fun jigsaw puzzle and um, I'm getting really hyped to hear this thing start. I, I think it'll be good. So we're using a Bosch pedal on this one. Uh, if you want to use a different pedal, that's fine. There are other plugs and, and breakouts and things that you can get that just attach into the, uh, the Rebel loom and uh, use, use a different type of pedal. That's cool. It's possible you might have a bit of extra length in your application as well. That's uh, okay. Just, uh, just bundle it all up and tape it together like I am, nice and neat, and you'll be out of trouble. We made it to Summonats. All right, we're here at Summonats. We're gonna try and fire this thing up for the first time. We've got a little bit of a, a cheer squad here, making sure that we, we get it right, so no pressure. Um, I've not done this before, but I've been told that you just go through the checklist, you go through the setup wizard, and it and it goes. So let's, let's have a look. Uh, vehicle name, I might call it Summon it. Um, and it is, this is an LS1. So I need to find LS1 in here. LS1, right, we know that. Uh, this has a mild camshaft in it. And we are using a drive-by-wire throttle body. 75 mil drive-by-wire throttle body, so we'll pop that in. Go next. Um, yes, we are. Synchronous voltage, LS1. Yep, normal one bar manifold pressure. Fuel system constant, base pressure, that's all correct. So just like there. Now, we're not using stock LS1 injectors, I know that. So, actually these are the ones we've got. That one there. And yes, we are using the car coils. And it has no gearbox at all, so I'm just gonna say it's got a custom gearbox. And there we go. It's passed all of the checks. All right. So that's uh, checklist number one of five done. Everything's passed. Air temperature, cool temperature, that's all good. Um, I need to calibrate the throttle. So ensure the pedal is not depressed. Check calibrate. Yep, not depressed, calibrate. Press the throttle pedal. 
and calibrate. Done. Throttle calibration. Okay, doing the doing the throttle calibrate. You can hear it doing the Test the fuel pump. Start the test. Yeah, I can hear a fuel pump, so that's good. Yes. Next. Thermo fans start the test. The thermo fans underneath the engine, so that's definitely working. There's air coming out of there. I'll stop that. Yes, the thermo fan turned on. Next check the trigger, crank the thing over. All right. Oh, it runs, it runs. First go. That's awesome, that was so easy. It's the best. We're back from Summer Nats. Uh, it all went really well, it was really hot. Um, but fantastic week down there in Canberra. Um, the engine stand did exactly what we needed it to do. It worked really well. The Rebel LS install was pretty easy from my end. The setup was really easy. Thank you to everyone who came to see us at the Haltech stand. And thank you to everyone who came and watched us do the demos in the dyno cell uh, over the weekend. It was really great to do those with my mate Dave Carter. And, uh, and yeah, it was, uh, it was awesome. So this thing's awesome. We're gonna be bringing it to a couple of other events around Australia this year. So if you're at one of those, you wanna come and see how the Rebel LS works, please make sure you come and say good day. And uh, for now, that's it. My name's Richo, copy you later.